Hello and welcome to FedMail. Thank you for joining us once again on this Friday afternoon. I hope you're doing well and that your family and friends and loved ones are all healthy and in good spirits. And I hope that you're continuing to take the necessary precautions to keep yourself healthy and our community healthy. I want to point out a few upcoming events. Uh, this week's a little bit of a quieter week, but we do have some Logbo Mare celebrations on the calendar that I don't want you to miss. But let's begin with the Film Fest, the ongoing JCC Jewish International Film Fest. They do a terrific job with this every year, and it continues uh, this week with the final three films, Winter Journey, Here We Are, and The Crossing. Nancy Greenberg, who oversees and arranges the Film Fest, uh, wanted me to point out and remind you to sign up. Don't miss these films. It's a great opportunity. And the Film Fest is um, partially funded by Jewish Federation's allocation. So for those of you who support Jewish Federation, you help to support the Jewish International Film Fest at the JCC and a lot of other programs at the JCC too because part of our allocations go to the JCC. I also want to remind you of the um, Talia Kramer book discussion. Uh, and also there's a Mahjong strategy uh, Zoom, you can find all of that in this edition of FedMail by just checking out the flyer. And then, of course, as I mentioned before, there are two great Lagba Omer programs taking place. The first is with Beth Israel on April 29th. Lagba Omer is just such a fun time. Uh, great holiday. We're outside. We make bonfires. We play with bows and arrows. We have barbecues. And that's all part of the way we observe and celebrate. So um, what better way than to join our friends at BI on April 29th. You can also join the Tourist Center for a great celebration taking place in Worcester. You can look out for the flyer for that and um, don't miss it. Like I said, Lagba Omer is a lot of fun. And uh, it's always great to get together as a community, particularly when we can do it outdoors uh, in the safety of outdoors, uh, safety and health, uh, prioritizing our health. So don't miss those. And of course, we um, have our eyes on Israel. The last several weeks have seen a uh, tense escalation between Israel and Iran with some uh, back and forth situations related to ships uh, that were traveling in the region. And then there was, of course, the explosion at the Iranian nuclear facility not long ago in this past week. An anti-aircraft missile, an errant anti-aircraft missile, landed uh, in the south of Israel. Uh, it had been fired from Syria, but there were some major concerns that when the air raid sirens were going off, they weren't sure if that was from Iran or not. So we're relieved that that was uh, not part of this ongoing tension. But of course, we always hope for and pray for peace in the region, particularly as we go into Shabbat. Uh, I want to wish you all a Shabbat Shalom, continued good health, have a great weekend, and we will see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.